Hey, my name is Channing Rand Jr. It is day two of our fast. And today's topic is about personal repentance and consecration. Uh, when I looked up the word, uh, the definition of personal repentance, what I saw was that it means to personally or privately turn away from sin. And so when I was thinking about this, I was thinking, I was thinking about things that I had to repent from. But what I had to do is first examine myself and realize that what I, what I needed to repent from. I had to realize that I had an issue to be able to turn away from the issue. And one of the things that I can say that I personally had to repent from um, was drugs and alcohol. Turning away from things that I did on a consistent basis because it made me feel a certain way or it was like it just was something that was a, a, a normal thing for me. So understanding that whether it was doing drugs or selling the drugs, whatever it may be, what it, I had to realize that I had to go to my father, to my heavenly father and let him know that I have an issue with it and, and I'm weak in this area. I'm weak in the fact that I'm looking for something to help me either feel a certain way or idolizing even the money that I received from doing what I was doing. So that's one of the things that I had to personally repent from. And I had to ask God to help me because I know that my flesh is weak and my flesh wants what the flesh wants. But as I operate in the spirit and ask the Holy Spirit to resurrect on the inside of me, that it's going to guide me and lead me to do what God wants me to do and to strengthen me even in my weakness, to strengthen me, to overcome the obstacle that I'm faced with. And then the consecration part is, as pastor shares with us, consecration means to be set aside. God already consecrated me, set me aside to be used for his glory. God just was waiting for me to come to him, to allow myself to be used as his instrument, as his vessel. So as we go through day two of personal repentance and consecration, I just pray that each and every last one of us learn how to self-examine ourselves and to admit the things that have a stronghold on us that's keeping us from drawing closer to God. Turn away from those things, knowing that we can't do it on our own, but the Holy Spirit is here to help us and knowing that God already created us with a purpose, which is why he's already set us aside. So I thank you all for just, you know, uh, for the privilege and opportunity to just even share these words of encouragement. And I pray that it's helping, that it helps you. Love you all and everyone have a blessed day.